This is question seven of the area between curves assignment. Find the area bounded by the graphs of the indicated equations over the given interval when stated. Compute the answers to three decimal places. So we've got a upward facing parabola and a linear with a positive slope and a negative uh, y-intercept. So this is a shifted up by one. So the parabola is probably going to be the upper one and the line is going to be the lower function. I'm going to start a new problem, doc, 4 for uncirc, 1 for problem, 2 for a graph, x squared plus 1, down arrow immediately, then 2x minus 2, and we do have the upper function being the parabola, and we're going from negative 1 to positive 2, so it's going to be upper function, lower function over the entire range. Easiest way to do this is to use bounded area. Menu 6, 8 for bounded area, negative 1, enter 2, enter, and our area is 9 square units. So we'll put that in. Nice work. I'm going to close that out and not go on to the next question. Now to do that in the calculator page, doc, oops, control doc, add a page, uh, shift plus, negative one, tab two, tab. Our upper function is the parabola f1, then we're going to subtract the lower function, f2, and tab x. And we'll also do this one by hand. So I'm going to set up the integral. The integral from negative 1 to 2. We want the upper function. So bracket x squared plus 1. Then minus parenthesis 2x minus 2. Close the bracket dx. We're going to simplify inside the bracket. So the integral from negative 1 to 2 of x squared. This is negative of a positive 2x, so minus 2x, and then 1 minus a negative 2 gives me plus 3 dx. We're going to anti-derive this to x cubed over 3, and this is a 1, so this will be x squared over 2, but times 2, so just minus x squared, and then plus 3x from negative 1 to 2. I'm going to evaluate at the upper limit. 2 cubed is 8, so that gives me 8 thirds minus 2 squared plus 3 times 2, then minus, put in a grouping symbol. So that's going to be negative 1 cubed over 3, then minus negative 1 squared and plus 3 times negative 1. Start simplifying. So this is going to be 8 thirds minus 4 plus 6. Then minus negative 1 third minus 1 minus 3. So this is going to be plus 2 or 8 thirds plus 6 thirds, and then minus. So this is going to be negative 1 third minus 3 thirds minus 9 thirds. So let's just go ahead and put that all on. Minus 3 thirds minus 9 thirds. So we're going to get 14 thirds minus. That gets me to 10 thirds, negative 13 thirds, which is negative, negative, gives me positive, so 27 thirds, which is 9. So we got the same answer three different ways. That concludes this video.